Well, hello everyone and thank you for coming. My name is Tom Fifield. I'm from the OpenStack Foundation. And we're here to talk about your first C Sharp uh, OpenStack app. So uh, how this all started was uh, with the global growth of OpenStack clouds, we realized that uh, we needed some kind of guide for people who suddenly have access to an OpenStack cloud and want to build their first application, something that leads them through the information they need to know about what a cloud application is and also the relevant information for the SDK to enable them to actually code it up. And so in March, we got a team together to write this tutorial called uh, Writing Your First Application on OpenStack. And originally, that was written uh, just with the LibCloud SDK. And uh, thanks to the fantastic work of uh, my friend and colleague, Liang Bo, uh, we now have the ability to share how to perform those same be uh, beginning steps with C Sharp. So, uh, without uh, further delay, it's my great pleasure to introduce Liang Bo. Please welcome him. He's from 99Cloud. Hi, my name is Liang Bo, and uh, I'm working from 99Cloud. So, do you guys hear 99Cloud uh, before? Good. Uh, we are the number two contributor uh, in China, just after Huawei, and the uh, top 20 on the worldwide. Uh, the 99 Cloud focused on, is highly focused on OpenStack for three years, and we are have a very friendly partnership in the ecosystem, include uh, Brocade and uh, NetApp. So just a, a short description. Uh, these are the topics uh, I want to share with you today. Uh, the first thing is the OpenStack first app program, uh, just uh, like Tom said. Um, I want also introduce the OpenStack SDK uh, because uh, if we want uh, you, if we want develop the uh, uh, application on OpenStack, we should use the uh, SDK like LibCloud, like .NET Framework SDK. Then we can share. Uh, go through the C sharp uh, C sharp application on the OpenStack. Uh, I I'm trying to uh, go through the slides as as quick as I can because it's the lunch time. Do you guys hungry? <laughs> so this is the first app application uh, uh, first app uh, program in the community. Uh, the link is the Tom's work. Uh, use the libcloud on the, the first uh, first application on the uh, on the open stack sorry i have a little nervous <laughs> um, the first app application is a part of api site project is actually a tutorial um, a document stop project that you can find on the github uh, with openstack slash api site and uh, in this tutorial, you can find some cloud application architecture principles. So if we want to design a cloud application, we should, uh, we should take some, some good recommendation for the, for the architecture. Uh, if we, we are starting design an uh, application like running on the cloud, so we can think about these points, uh, like how do we separate some some functions to to the microservice? Uh, if we put this we put this function to to the services, we can easily to scale up or scale scale out. So if if one service if one service down, we can. Uh, hand over the workload to the another service, so it also uh, it have API um, to automation the application deployment or configuration. Well, this is uh, OpenStack SDK. So in fact, OpenStack has already have the uh, Python client. Uh, we are dealing with these clients every day. Um, there are two kinds of client library in OpenStack. One is OpenStack client, 
why, why is Python another project client, like Lova client, Glass client? But we are talking about use SDK to develop. Uh, why should we use the SDK? Because the SDK is uh, integrates all, all the service in a single library. If we use the client project, we have to import every client uh, one by one. If I want to, if I want to provision a VM, we should uh, uh, we should reference the Keystone client, then the Glance client to retrieve to grab the images. Then we have to uh, reference the Nova client to start instance. But with the SDK, we can use just the one single library. So if we want to run a application. Uh, develop our application, we can just uh, start with this SDKs. Otherwise, the SDK can enable the, uh, the developers to use another uh, language uh, like Java, like Node.js, and Python, or Ruby. The .NET SDK is one of them, so I am start, I'm starting to use the C Sharp to uh, develop my first app application. This is the uh, client libraries. Uh, this example code to show you how to uh, list uh, the security groups from the OpenStack. The first thing, we put the credential information and uh, we can use the Nova client. Sorry, I, I missed to import Nova client, but uh, uh, you can see uh, the client class can have can have uh, many functions, so we can call the Nova dot security groups dot list function to retrieve the the security groups. And uh, as the result, in this act uh, in in act in, in sorry in this output Python transform the JSON data to the Python object, so we can just use it as our code. Well, um, so do we have the C-sharp developer here? No? <laughs> cool. Um, do you know Microsoft.NET Framework? Cool. Uh, .NET Framework is uh, a managed code technology makes the application can run on the Windows platform. That uh, also have one technology called, called the intermediate language. So we can transform uh, several languages to intermediate language. Then .NET Framework can run this code on the Windows, but uh, uh, but uh, uh, the Donuts the Donuts application has the problem is it can only run on the Windows before, but uh, thanks to Susi, he bring the, uh, it brings us mono project to allow Donut application can run on the Linux and uh, OS X. And we have we have several developer tools for making for making .NET program like Visual Studio .NET. That's a classic IDE, and uh, I'm very like it. Uh, but but Visual Studio is not uh, is not able to run on my on my Mac. So I am I have a demo to use Xamarin. Studio to run a C sharp application. We also have another choice: is Molo, Molo, Molo develop. And uh, now we have two kind. Uh, we have two OpenStack uh, .NET SDK. One is OpenStack .NET. It supports uh, Windows Cloud like Rackspace, uh, HP Cloud. It supports some specific API from these vendors. 
but uh, it not fully support uh, all the OpenStack features like orchestration service, like database service. The another one is OpenStack SDK.net. It's an official project, but unfortunately, um, the author is closed the project 10 days ago. Uh, but uh, we should bring this project up uh, because we are lots of C sharp developer after all. Okay, this is my first uh, C sharp application. Uh, this link is the draft documents you can you can find on the developer site. So this document can uh, show you how to make the simple C sharp application on the OpenStack. If we want to get uh, my get all app on on OpenStack running, so we should uh, know uh, this concept on the OpenStack. The first thing is authentication. We can we need to put some credential information to SDK, and the SDK will use this credential to interact with the OpenStack API. And if we want to, <coughs> if we want to create the virtual machine images, we should uh, virtual machines. We should to use SDK to to get the image information, to get the flavor information. Even we we need to put some uh, metadata to the to the virtual machine. <coughs> okay, this is code. This code is uh, uh, the first step. We need to uh, import some libraries. Uh, in the C sharp, we call we call this we call this uh, namespace, uh, not like Python. We just call Python modules, right? Uh, I'm I'm gonna using the first SDK I just uh, described, uh, OpenStack.net. So <coughs> next uh, we put some credential informations. This credential includes the username, password, project, and the author URL. We also need to specify the region information. In this block, we need. We need to uh, write an uh, OpenStack identity provider, um, so we can use it later. And the next one is so we have to uh, do a cloud server provider instance. Then we can easily to uh, get OpenStack uh, OpenStack data, like. We can use the server provided dot list images. Um, this is the output. This output is not like Python outputs. We have to specify the output output format. And the flavors servers are the same as the uh, images. We just uh, use the list blah blah blah, but. Uh, um, some of the OpenStack uh, data is not available for this SDK. Uh, for example, the network neutron from neutron. This SDK can only invoke the network information from Nova Nova API. Then we can use the create server function to create a real virtual machine on the OpenStack. This uh, has some uh, some specific uh, parameters like we can use uh, what image, uh, we use what what flavor, and uh, we need to specify the region inf information. Destroy is more easy than create, so we just uh, de delete server and uh, give it uh, ID instance ID parameter for this. For this function, um, so I'm gonna uh, give you a demo to to see how how the C sharp uh, C sharp code.
this code just like I'm show show that before. Sorry, I have to bring up the open stack. In this case, uh, I'm using a, a simple credential for logging the OpenStack environment. And uh, we have some steps to list images, to list uh, flavors, list uh, servers, instance, and list uh, network provide, uh, networks. If you have interesting, you can find this code on the uh, C Sharp application part on the develop site. But uh, it's draft version, though. So in in the first app project, we have one instance and uh, two images, one for project only, one for the public image, uh, servers, and uh, one private network, right? So we can run this code to see what happened. The first, uh, the first part is list the image in informations, and the flavors next, and the servers next, and network next. Image Ubuntu Cyrus flavor M1 and the server API node. So um, this SDK just use Nova API to retrieve the network information. So um, uh, if Nova not return the network CIDR information, we we just uh, show the blank here. His, uh, this is a quick demo. So uh, my demo is just uh, finished. Do you have any questions? What further work would you like to do from here? What further work would you like to do from here, or are you looking for contributors? What's what's kind of your future plans for what you'd like to do with this? Yeah, uh, we want to find uh, more C sharp contributors for the .NET SDK. So uh, all C sharp developers can really develop some cool stuff on the OpenStack. Um, the first thing uh, uh, I am working with Tom uh, to contribute to the API site, the first uh, app tutorials, and uh, we want net more .NET developers to know this project. Any other questions? So we can get lunch, right? <laughs> Sounds good to me.
Very good. Well, if there's nothing further, um, please do email Young Bo uh, if you are a C Sharp developer and are interested in working on that SDK or contributing to this guide or even using this guide. We'd love to hear from you. Feel free to email me as well. I'm tom at openstack.org. But uh, I believe uh, this effort, uh, one of the, the pioneering efforts with C Sharp on OpenStack uh, took a lot of work from, from Young. So I think we should give him another round of applause. Thank you. Thank you all.